Viserie Giacomo, alive and well. Your presence here is proof that my gift was delivered successfully, and that you knew how to use it in the best possible way. You did not disappoint me, which is, as you will soon see, a good thing for you. I am sure you're asking yourself the obvious question of why the mysterious man before you has even helped you to your freedom. Well, above all, I do not pay heed to the unlikely tales of witchcraft and occultism those blind fanatics accused you of. If they had their way, we would all be flung several centuries into the past. However, I do believe in the power of knowledge. I like to support able and well-educated people. You, of course, counted among them, Giacomo. I know your work and your skills, and I can find a good use for them. But I am, as you are surely beginning to understand, an extremely powerful man. As easily as I was able to get you out of that prison, I can put you back with just a wave of the hand and leave you there to rot. It's your choice. This is my offer. You may choose to return to your foul-smelling cell in Castello Estense, which would of course be unexpected, or decide to enter my service instead, in which case you could finally make full use of your exceptional skills. But let us return to my principal issue. As I stated, I am currently supporting a number of artists and inventors, all of whom work for me with gratitude, but one of the greatest minds of our time still eludes me. I am certain you already know of him, Messer Leonardo da Vinci. He is currently staying in Milan, seeking assistance for his scientific work. Every candidate for this post must first complete a complex test to show that he can be beneficial to the master's research. No one has proven successful so far, but you, Giacomo, could be the right one. It will be in your own best interests, if you understand my meaning. You will complete Leonardo's test, enter his services, and while keeping up appearances, you will secretly inform me of his every move. You will also ensure that in the end, the only employer of Leonardo da Vinci will be me, Cesare Borgia. Take this notebook. You will secretly record every detail of your investigation in it. You will report to me and keep me informed. find Master Leonardo in the church of Santa Maria della Grazia, where he addresses himself to some grandiose painting. One of my reliable people will take you to Milan. You should be on your way. And Giacomo, do not fail me. There is one more thing. As a soldier, I am accustomed to almost any hardship but Messere Leonardo is, after all, a man of considerable delicacy and refinement. Before you meet him, you should not forgo a thorough bath and change of clothing. 